This is my home state. It's, um, I haven't lived here all my life, but it's the place that feels like home for me. And higher ed policy is what I love to do. I loved teaching about it, but I love living it as much as teaching it. And so those two parts of my life, I figure, come together in this job. It's great. I was actually, um, many years ago, 20 some years ago, uh, working overseas with Indiana University's program in Malaysia. And that job, I was a faculty member um, teaching in, essentially, we were creating a new university in Malaysia and we had students for the first two years, so freshman and sophomore years, and then at the end of that time we would send them off to American universities for their junior-senior years in a handful of majors that the Malaysian government needed to grow a middle class, essentially. And, and what they were engaged in was state building, in a way. Um, and it was watching that whole process and looking at the aspirations of a nation for its people, for its future, that got me thinking about some of the larger issues in higher ed. Working at an institution is one thing. Um, and the joys are immediate. You're working with students and people and um, the day-to-day -day is where your joys are. System or state level work, the joys are sort of delayed and you have to step back and look at the broader picture and I enjoy that. Performance funding is important because it's the glue that undergirds the strategic planning we've been doing. Performance funding is a way to reward institutions for making good progress on the most important things that we can engage in for our students. The legislature has given us money to implement it this year, and as we go through this pilot year and refine what we're doing, we have a chance to make an even stronger model, build an even stronger model in the years to come. Florida is going to continue to grow. We're not one of those states where the population is going to decline. We are going to continue to grow. So the question becomes, if we're going to grow, where do we need any more universities and colleges? Um, if we don't, and the commission answered the question that we really don't, we have sufficient capacity, then the question becomes, well, how do we handle both the programs and the regions of the state that are going to experience growth. Um, and to work out the details in identifying the gaps at this level is truly an accomplishment. There is an amazing amount of good work that does go on, but being able to communicate that to an ever more sophisticated public I think is part of our challenge. Um, one of the things I can think about is the research function. Everybody thinks about the teaching function that universities do, but there's also this research function that's incredibly important. It contributes direct and indirectly to the economy, creates jobs, and it's a story that we tell in episodes and anecdotes. But to get our arms around the whole research enterprise and what that means to a state, I think is something um, we could do a little better job of explaining to our external audience. We are on a good trajectory right now for um, national prominence and the legislature has supported our efforts to grow in in our reputation, in the quality of um, education we provide to our students, and in the quality and the extent of the research that we do. So my goals for this system are, are high. I want us to be the top system in the country.